Hey friends, welcome to Only Little Coder. In this video, we are going to look at an R package that helps you customize ggplot plot in an easier way. So as the name goes, the plot, uh, package's name is ggec. Thanks to the um, author and maintainer Jonathan Carroll, uh, who has made this package and made it open source for us. So as you can see in this joke, um, it's quite always um, a tedious task, uh, at least uh, for a lot of um, people who do not understand ggplot theming well uh, to make any customization with ggplots and ggplot being like the golden standard for uh, making plots in r it is it is um, it is somewhat important for us to have something that is easier and something that we can learn further to improve to make customization with ggplot so this is this is the package for that let's straight away go ahead and install the package install dot package uh, ggec another thing that you might notice is that the uh, the author has mentioned only installing from github but the package is actually available on cran so you can install it uh, directly from cran um, if your organization has any firewall restriction or anything such as so while this package is getting installed okay so it's it's been successfully installed so the data that we are going to use for this particular tutorial is going to come from another package called fakir so we have already had one um, tutorial explaining what is fakir so fakir is a package that gives you fake data set uh, but that can resemble uh, industry data set so it's not like iris or empty cars uh, for you to play with a toy problem so you can have a data set that resembles some industry problem so we're going to use fakir then we are going to use um, tidyverse and we are going to use let us say ggec ggec okay so we have loaded our data sets sorry uh, libraries so in fakir we are going to use the data set called client fakir fake base clients fake ticket clients let's take ticket clients and we will take 100 volume so 100 so if you do not understand this step please look at that video where we have done um, the fakir uh, tutorial and i'll link that video in the comment section so you can see that uh, we have got a lot of columns uh, so we have got one column called state so let's count state state oh sorry clients count of state so we have got you know, four values and uh, another um, counted value so let's make a plot of a gg plot geom call as state n so you can actually see that um, these labels have overlapped and uh, it is it is a problem that uh, now to remove this overlap we can either flip the coordinates that's what mostly we do or we can change the label uh, or rotate the label right uh, so let's see how easy it is to do with easy so the api is quite um, uh, consistent so anything uh, you want to do it with ggec it starts with easy underscore so then after that you can ask or um, look for something that you want to so you want to rotate so rotate x labels and you can see that it has been rotated so now with just one command uh, or one function that you got to know how to do this thing so that is one thing so the other thing let's say now in this case um uh, let's uh, let's look at this flipped plot let's say you've got n and you've got state you've got a plot like this and you want to change the color of the text so again um you might have struggled to do with this theme um gg uh, plots uh, default theme but uh, with easy it is quite easy to say okay color text color um and you want to say okay i want orange color and you can see everything has become orange and uh, you can say fill is equal to orange so that the plot also becomes orange yeah so this is done just for the sake of aesthetics we'll make it minty minimum yeah this is done so next let's say um you want to have legends and uh, change the position of legend okay so in that case uh, what you can do is let's change the code a bit and we'll say okay we'll copy this entire thing and say in, just instead of state we'll say state and source call okay state and source call 
so when you look state and source call this is how it looks so you got state you got source call so now you take this and then say you know, fill source call okay state is not found okay it is okay so now you can see that the source call is there as a legend here so depending upon the situation you might want to even um, remove the legend sometime uh, you might want to let's say uh, move the legend so let's first see how to move the legend easy move legend so where do you want to move right or none or left or top or bottom so let's say none so your legend is gone so now you don't have legend let's say now you want the legend at the bottom so you can simply say legend at the bottom now again this is quite easy uh, very uh, intuitive english function that you can simply use uh, now let's say that you have uh, done all these things but at the same time you want to not just use gg easy you want to start learning uh, how it is should be actually done on uh, gg plot uh, theme function so the author has been very kind to add a, another argument that says teach teach is equal to true so when you say teach is equal to true it actually tells you what you can do using theme that will help you with uh, this change so instead of gg this move legend so you can say um theme sorry you can say theme underscore sorry theme legend position bottom and then it would do the same thing okay so this this teach can be uh, added in any plot uh, so to to see what this plot is doing let's say we have added easy color and then we can say easy font text size okay so let's say this text size that we want is 20 now you can see how much oh the easy easy text um so all text size and then see 20 is maybe it's the same size let's see 30 the size is not changing um let's do one more thing easy uh, label easy text mm, okay it's the problem is because we have got theme minimal 25 let's say 25 so you can see the size has changed right you have see uh, you can see that the size has changed now if you want to know how to do that you can simply say teach is equal to true and then you can say okay so these are the three things that you have to do uh, where uh, to change the text all the text like title if you had title if access text and then the other text so uh, this function as much as it is easier for you to learn uh, something in English and then uh, customize the ggplot theme it is also uh, helping you learn how to do it with uh, the theme function so once you keep on doing it it will be slightly easier for you uh, to no more look uh, on stack overflow or uh, google for that matter so yeah uh, you can look at the documentation you have a lot of uh, the author has added a lot of other details to show you what other customization you can look or do with the ggec and um, if you have uh, any issues um, you can easily go here and then raise an issue and then um, the author uh, would help you fix that issue and um, if you if you are using this um, um, package and then you want to help this author's uh, open source contribution the author has got a sponsor page so you can uh, go ahead and then uh, support this author or uh, support jonathan carroll with uh, this uh, sponsoring and um, that's it yeah i hope this uh, video was helpful for you to um, customize jg plot uh, theme uh, in an easier way using ggec if you have any comments please let me know in the comment section and um, until that see you in the next video take care bye bye